Hello guys and welcome to another episode of my newest acquisitions. Today I have uh, an incredible acquisition for you. I will start with this fountain pen. It's improper that I call it a fountain pen because it hasn't um, its um, own uh, ink reservoir. But I wanted to show you the beautiful craftsmanship of this fountain pen, of this, let's say, pen. You can see it's beautiful carved in the wood. And um, it is fitted with a steel German de Gusani, bit slightly bent over here. Of course, it's um, fitted from an other fountain pen with this plastic uh, element. And I don't know if you can uh, see, but uh, this is a plain um, hole and um, it extends till this part, so you ca can't fit an um, ink cartilage or other um, material. You just um, use it as a dip pen. This was um, a bonus when I bought this lot. So I will start with um, two commercials that were included. So one is for um, Faber Castle. It is um, a pencil. And the other is for an ink reservoir. And it's in Romanian. And it is the firm Leon Hardy. An interesting, interesting battle design. But this is the catch of the day. So the catch of the day includes over 133 different nibs. They're all uh, steel nibs. And um, bonus, we have some uh, feeds. So I will put um, the feeds back on the bag we have this feed this feed and another feed and uh, these are some metallic parts from the piston filling mechanism and i have two of them okay and the other parts because there are so many 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 i will um leave them i will leave some photos of it the largest quantity are from um, an east german um, nib manufacturer and uh, you can see it on my episode makeba 340 it is uh, a bear on two legs and um, i think they are from the 1950s or 1960s i also have uh, some um, rather two or three um, nibs from Centropen and uh, another stock for from STW. I have also some Chinese steel nibs and some uh, American steel nibs. I will show you pictures with all of them and. Um, I am particularly fond of the German pieces and um, let's show you I hope you can see well it's a bear on two legs you can you can see it okay maybe I can find a larger one no this is an STW but I want to show you, let's see, if, um, no, another SDW. Where are those? When I need them, I can't find them. Look, look, this is one that I wanted to talk about. Yes, so you can see the bear on two legs and the word Iridium. 
it has this um, lines to it you can see that it was uh, gold plated this particular one i think is uh, no it's not broken it's in rather nice shape yes so i i say um i am very proud of this german is german names because they are of um, a nice qu um, quality i'm glad that i didn't pay a lot for this lot and uh, although some of them are in bad shape like um, you see this um, rusted one i uh, like the fact that it's it has this keyhole breathing hole but uh, you can see it's totally rusted and you know, i can't tell you the manufacturer or nothing about it they are all made for uh, fountain pens so they are not um, made for desk pens or um, deep uh, types of um, other writing instruments and um, I said to you that I didn't pay a lot for them. This was a bonus. And um, uh, what can I tell you? They were quite, quite cheap. You can see that we have here 135 writing instruments. Some in um, um, good shape, some in uh, bad shape. But... Um, there are certainly lots lots of interesting names and um, i will include them in a special episode where i will talk about the beautiful steel nibs and i will do a comparison with the gold nibs i also have a gold nib but uh, this i paid separate for it it's a reform gold need 14 karat 585 and believe me you see this nib i paid for this nib the price of the whole lot that you see here so 135 steel nibs with um, an interesting gold nib this isn't a, a usual gold nib it has some flex to it and i hope you can see it on my fingernail when i push or let's show you on the paper okay let's focus and you can see it has this flex to it a beautiful beautiful flex and um, i think it was worth all the money but also this lot of steel nibs is uh, worth all the money and interesting this is a german nib and uh, the majority of these nibs are also made in germany particularly in east germany and um, this is a nice nice lot and i'm proud of my newest acquisition and i wanted to share uh, it with uh, you in the end, I leave you with this beautiful carving, wood carving. I wish you to have a nice day. I hope that your latest acquisitions are uh, great buys. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, that's it. Bye bye. Have a nice day. And please visit me again.